All right, kiddos, it's the great one. Let's do this. You may have already seen some analysis of this. This is making the circuits and everything. I saw a joker over at Fitter Bachelor did a video on this. Saw it pop up on the Twitter. This is where we got it here. Before we even watch this, so I'm like, who is this chick who's doing the interviews? And I, once again, this is part of the problem. Danny Jackal, I mean, here's her YouTube channel. So this is what she's doing. 4,000 views, what are college freshmen afraid of? Farting mid-conversation. Giving guys my number who didn't ask for it. Uh, staring at strangers gone wrong. I went back to his place. Of course you did. You're a blonde white girl. He's black. You want to be impregnated by him. Picking up guys with a bush. Tried to get his number by barking at him. I mean, this is what white women are doing with their existence. Stranger picks food out of my teeth. She's making these and some people are watching this. I mean, what in the fuck is going on? Ruining strangers' picnics. Cheesy pickup lines. Inappropriately getting guys' numbers. Like, hitting on firefighters. Look at that. What in the fuck? Like, why is this... Let's get, in a sane society, this woman would not be getting attention. This woman would not be getting... 278,000 views in four months about a video of her walking around embarrassing herself by, let's, you know what? What's up guys, welcome back let's to my just, channel. My name is Danny Jackal and today I'm gonna be hitting on firefighters. I am so embarrassed. Today you're a slut, just like yesterday Hi. and the day before. Oh, thank you. Um, I was just saying, like, I love firefighters. Uh -huh. So I just wanted to see, like, how big's your hose? <laughs> how big is your hose? Oh, no, I meant, like, yours, not... Oh, mine. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, I mean, but why use a hose when you can use me just as wet? You know? Wow. Hey. When you can use me, I'm just as wet. I'm all good. Thanks, you too. Um, yeah, the emergency is just like that my eyes are burning off because you're too hot. What if I said that I should have? This is the fire station, wow. obviously, the fire department. Just wow. Okay, because. <sighs> okay, moving on. I, I, I want this to end as soon as possible. Wait a minute. Hold on. And here she's kind of a, oh, I guess she is kind of a blonde. I mean, she's. <sighs> She's moderately attractive. I mean, she's a five. Let's, I just, let me. I just want to get this over with. I'm also testing some new, a little bit of new recording stuff. We'll see what's happening for for the video, for other videos I want to do. Anyhow, just shut up, great one. Let's just make fun of these girls. So, why are we doing this? Number, may here's two main reasons we're doing this. Number one, remember that conservatives think women should vote. Number two, these are little college girls. These are Zoomer girls. Remember that the Zoomers are more conservative than the millennials. And as soon as the Zoomers start voting, well, everything's going to swing back to the right and the Zoomers are going to save us. Because just like Christians are standing around waiting for God to come and wipe their asses for them, and just like I was going to say something really funny there, and I forgot what it was. Oh, women. Just like anytime I'm going to say something funny, it's got to be about women. Just like women are standing around waiting for men to show up and wipe their asses for them, the conservatives are standing around waiting for the Zoomers to come along and wipe their asses for them. Everybody's waiting for someone else to wipe their ass for them. And no matter how many times I say it, I can't seem to convey to anyone that nobody is showing up to wipe your ass for you. You have to go wipe your own ass. We had this thing when I was in the military that this little routine that we did, and it's a little long with the story, but it's a, so the story is if you go in the bathroom and you go in the stall and you sit down, and you take a shit, and then you look over and you notice there's no toilet paper. So now the first problem is that you should always check to make sure there's toilet paper before you shit. So this scenario would never happen to any of us in the military because we check to make sure there's toilet paper before we shit. 
But you sat down, you've taken a shit, so now you got shit on your ass. You look over, oh, fuck, there's no toilet paper. What are you going to do? Are you sit there, are you going to wait for somebody to bring you some toilet paper? Or are you just going to get up and fucking walk somewhere with the shit on your ass to get to some toilet paper and handle it yourself? Everybody is just sitting there in that stall waiting for someone else to magically show up and bring them some toilet paper. Anyway, and I've I've watched a very small amount of this. This is mostly going to be cold. I think we already know pretty much how this is going to go. So let's just fucking do it and get this over with. I should make per year. Um, depends where they live. I mean, if I'm like dating them, it'd be nice if they were at least making a hundred thousand. For her to date you, you need to be making at least a hundred thousand. Now you saw what she looked like. Is does she look like she's worth a hundred thousand? I mean, yeah, she's white, she's blondish, but I mean, all three of these girls are just kind of like with pudgy and like soft looking. I guess if that's your style, you might find those girls' bodies attractive. But I mean, there's no there's no muscle tone there. Look at look at like the, what's with the like the lip on this one or something. And she's got the beginnings of a double chin. You know, the tits look kind of saggy. And you can see the the guts are starting to poke. I mean, none of these girls are worth a hundred thousand, in my estimation. If they were at least making a hundred thousand. Um, I have no clue. Like, she, well, at least, at least she's an honest one. She has no clue. And that's that would pretty much sum women up. I mean, her tits look okay. No clue. Like a million? Two million? A million. A million. Arizona State. See, I'm not surprised. A million. Two million. Okay. We're okay. at ASU, you know. So you're not going to find them here. <laughs> Yeah, you're at ASU. It, it's a party college. It's where people like you go to get drunk. <laughs> like fully like adult. Someone that you would consider. Fully like adult. Fully like adult. Yes, girl. Like you will never be. Like fully adult. Uh, you know, you got the belly button ring. Cell phone is in her hand, of course. Because, you, you know, the three different colors of hair there from where she's dyed it so many times. Uh, this girl looks potentially attractive. Better wanting to be with the rest of your life. Three hundred k, three figures. Oh yeah, I just I just realized too. I'm waving my mouse around to guide you, but the mouse doesn't show up on the video feed, so you don't know what I'm talking about. When I'm trying to point at something, that doesn't work. See, I need to figure out how to use in in Streamlabs here how to show the mouse. I got to work on that. I got a lot of things I got to work on. To be with the rest of your life. 300k. 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 All right, this is great. Hold on. 300k. Three figures. Three figures. Remember, guys, women should go into STEM. I want her to do some three figures. Well, at least she's set her sights realistically. Let's put it that way. She has very realistic expectations for. Zoomer men. Okay. So why is that? Just because, like, that's a stable income, I'd say. 100. That is a stable income. I mean, if you can't maintain three figures a year, yeah, I, I would say that is definitely a stable income. <laughs> okay, we're back to titty girl here. Stable income, I'd say. 100, like 500 grand? Is that a lot? Is that a lot? Five, is that a lot? Is that a lot? I don't know, guys, 500 grand a year, is that a lot? I mean, now I understand she's strong, she's independent, you know, she has so much money, maybe she doesn't really have to think about, is that a lot? These are, is that a fuck? No, that's, uh, 500 is, like, normal? Uh, on a good day, yeah. I mean, it depends. Okay. Uh, a lot were expensive. Yeah. Mills. Millions. Oh, mills, yeah. shit. A lot were expensive. 
I bet you're not that expensive. I mean, a couple of drinks. I bet you're willing to take on the football team. I don't think you're that expensive at all. Okay, I don't really care. I think Bullshit. I'm okay, that's what lying sounds like. I mean, not like any of these other girls have been telling the truth. But that that's she's the biggest liar out of all of these. I mean, I like when guys, like, pay for dates and stuff. Yeah, of course you do. She likes it when guys pay for dates. Hey, they're, hey, guys, guys, hey. Okay. <laughs> I, I hope that didn't cause any of you to fall over sideways or anything, because I'm sure you probably never knew that girls like it when guys pay for stuff. <sighs> so if a guy made 30K a year, is that something you're okay with? Yeah, that, I think that would be great. Like That's your husband? Oh, shit. Uh, see, oh, that'd be great. Uh, oh, my husband. Oh, I thought you meant like just some guy, some other guy. See, oh, now, oh, wait, this is affecting me. Hold on, let me change. Let me let me change everything. No, oh, husband. Yeah, I think I would be fine if it was my husband. I'd be in love with him. So yeah, I wouldn't really. Right, she'd be in love with him right up until she was uh, fucking somebody else. Boy, look at this heifer. How about, how about, I can't wait to hear what this, what this land whale thinks she's worth. I say I would have a price on that. I mean, as long as they treat me respectfully. Minimum what? six figures, no matter what the situation is. No, no matter what the situation is, minimum six figures. Right. We have an expensive lifestyle. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, I totally understand. We got to get good skincare routine. Yeah. You know, the whole, oh, yeah. whole nine yards. It, expensive lifestyle. She has an expensive lifestyle, guys. You know, because with the travel and the horses and the fur babies and everything, she has a very expensive lifestyle. Uh, 100,000. Okay. 120K. 80. 120. Okay. K and like maybe like 120. Okay. Yeah, I would say like 80 to 150. Over. 80 to 100. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. This one thinks she's worth. This one on the right. She thinks she's worth 80 to $150,000. Are you shitting? Me? Look at the look at the fat. You can I mean, you can see under the sweatshirt, you can see she's fat. She thinks she's worth $150,000. Thousand dollars a year. <sighs> I hope she's majoring in STEM. I don't know what else to say about this. Eighty to one fifty over a hundred k. Once you get to a certain age, like. I don't know. I'm also kind of like a gold digger, so. Yeah, yeah, you are, cause you have a vagina. You're all gold diggers. No, um, I'm planning on just like supporting myself. Bullshit. Um, okay. Uh, what about all the affirmative the job you get because of affirmative action? What about all the tax subsidies? You know, what about all the transfer of wealth that's going to happen as you go through life? With my income, so I don't really plan on being supported. Are, are you gonna work for a nonprofit, which is entirely funded by taxpayers? I mean, tell 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 me about your income. Can I get some more information about your income? By the person that I'm dating. What is the lowest you would go, though? Um, five hundred thousand. Wow. I could have a like a, a nice like subtle life with like a two hundred thousand a year, like. Okay. Oh, she could settle. Guys, she she could settle for 200,000 a year. She could settle. You know, she could settle. She could condescend to spending part of her life with a man who makes as little as 200,000 a year. Normal, great, yeah. What's the lowest though that you would go for? Um, I don't think money is something. Uh, maybe like a. Uh, it has to be. You just I said know, one I or two mil. Not. Would you be down for eighty? Yeah, eighty, sixty. I'd be fine. Okay. <sighs> she might be worth sixty on a good day. All right, so then there's a, there's a there's a part two to this.
Here we go. Let's make this one happen. Half, uh, a half a million? I'm sticking with a hundred thousand. Half a million. hundred thousand. Oh my god. He's gotta, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would agree a hundred thousand. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's got I mean, as long as they're stable, like have a good job, like What's a car it? and a What's a good job? There's no such thing as a good job. All jobs suck. That's why people have to pay you to do them. Once again, women don't understand this because they've been brainwashed into thinking that a career is the end-all, be-all of existence. There's no such thing as a good job. House. I, I don't think like – As long as they have a car and a house. Cares. Where, where, did the, where did the car and the house come from? Like, it's not that high on my list. Yes, it is. Well, I would probably say the lowest I can, would consider going is 65000 a year because then, like, if they're young, they have room for improvement and they can get oh. promotions and work their way up. Would you be Right. You know, you, can, you, have, you have room for promotions to work your way up to provide her with more money. Be comfortable with making more money than your guy or no? No. Um, no. Probably not. No. no there's I don't want not... him to rely on me. If he's still exactly. working and making money, then I don't think it really would matter if you're both putting work in. The guy who's talking right. to told me women shouldn't be working. So. Yes. <laughs> no. With a whole family, right? You got like be. four dogs, yeah. ten kids. Uh, ten kids is a stretch. The, yeah, it's going to stretch that pussy out. Ten, that was disgusting. Okay, well, I'm... Ex but it'll be more like ten dogs and four kids. That would be a more realistic one. Expecting to make a lot of money, so okay. I'm okay with like carrying it. So you're down to be the breadwinner? Yeah. No, I wouldn't mind if I was making more money as long as they're making a lot. I think we both a need lot. To be rich. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind if I'm making more money as long as he's making a lot. Wait, is that what she said? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta fact check myself. Is that what she said? Is that what she fucking said? With like carrying it. So you're down to be the breadwinner? Yeah. No, I wouldn't mind if I was making more money as long as they're making a lot. As long as he's making a lot, she's willing to make more money than you do at her taxpayer subsidized nonprofit gig. Wow, she's that one's a catch, man. I, I, the boy, whew. I think we both need to be rich, then we can, you know, we both, both need have to a be really rich. nice lifestyle. I mean, do you care wow. about how you okay. would make Just money, wow. like ver real estate job versus, you know, a male stripper? I don't think so. Money is money. Listen, I don't care what he does as long as he brings home money. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I, I would. All yeah. right. Well, that was a brief moment of honesty. If he was, like, just railing chicks on OnlyFans, you'd be fine with that? Mm. I'd be a little more mad about that one. Sorry, the ADD is really. <laughs> Wait, what the? F the ADD. What? Why do women constantly have to reference mental illnesses? Why do they constantly have to attention whore about mental illness? What does ADD have to do with the fact that you and the chubby girl have the same color nail polish? You can't just say, hey, look, we have the same color nail polish. Why? Why is it that everything in the fucking female world has to revolve around either black people or mental illnesses? Like, what the fuck is wrong with white women? It's a rhetorical question. I don't need an answer. Okay, anyways, <laughs> what would happen if you, God, the you know, started Stooges dating this again. guy and he told you that he had a lot of money, whatever, and then you later found I'll out found... he was broke? Oh, yeah. I'd leave him. Of course he's you would. He's a liar and he's broke. I'd leave yeah, him. Yeah, he has, like, no motivation to fix it. Or he's like, I've been selling feet pics nonstop on my OnlyFans, and oh. I'm, I swear to God, I will be making 100K by the end of the year. I know someone that does that. <clears throat> Probably, like, blackmail him, maybe cry a bit. Blackmail Make him. Because dick pics. Mm, yeah. yeah, see, re vengeance. Th th there's, your, there's your women. I would blackmail him. I would leak his dick pics. Guys, don't take pictures. If anybody in my audience has ever taken a picture of your dick, please stop listening to my podcast because there's no place for you here. Oh, wait, was that the end?
Did I stop right at the end? Yeah. Leak his dick pics. Yeah. Oh yeah. Leak leak his dick pics. All right, there we go. There's our there's our Zoomer women. They're more conservative than the millennials, and they should major in STEM.